welcome in this next video i hope you are following the, the techniques or tips which i give you in the earlier video of sketching uh, of strokes and circle and so please follow that and meantime we will start looking into the different aspect different skill set also so now we will talk about the observation in today's activity we will observe one image very carefully and i will let you know how to observe the things and with different different mindset but before what is the importance of the observation so for that let's do one exercise so that importance i will let you know in that exercise only so now you will see one image on the screen so when you see that image please hold your or stop the screen for five minutes and after that you just done the video and in that five minutes i want you to take observe whatever you have also in that image note down all the points whatever you observe in that five minutes please spend five minutes if you spend more than five minutes that will be very very great thing but please spend at least five minutes and on the thing don't rush to finish the video do this activity and after five minutes let's see how what are the outcomes we have observed so this is the image i want you to pause the video now and observe this image for five minutes I hope you have stopped the video earlier and now after five minutes we are again we will see this image and we will go through what are the observation you did so let's observe what have you have observed you might observe is that first thing definitely you have observed these two fish this image is from the movie called finding nemo it is very very beautiful movie if you didn't watch this movie till date please please go and watch that movie so very very good learnings in that movie and for observation also this is one of the good movie to also so this is one frame of that movie and you have observed that two fish are talking each other then you might also observe there is a one jewelry box in that a fish tank and there is one plants are there purple colored plants are there at the back side so these are the normal observation you did that is good completely good i'm very happy that you had did observation now we will go in a little bit detail and we will observe the things with different different approach so very first approach that we will do is the objects what are the objects are there how many objects are there which are the objects are there so Definitely, first was the primary objects which we you know, observed earlier. Now, apart from that, there are many object, objects are there. Like this, these are jewels are there. You can see the diamond, that blue color diamond, red color diamond in the jewelry box. Also, you have observed the right down corner, there is a rock, purple color rock is there. Then, on the center down, there is a blue color glossy rocks are there. So, these and at the right side you can find there is one photo frame actually that photo frame is outside of that fish tank right then you might found find that before that photo frame there is a window and from there you can see the outside of that building or room whatever it is then also you can find there the water bubbles are there you know in fish tank there is a uh, the sp uh, spread of oxygen so more that water bubbles are there and you can see very far away there is the opera house yes this if you saw that movie this scene is particularly captured in australia sydney and that is a very famous building opera house so you have observed this so these are the objects are there so what are the objects primary objects secondary objects, tertiary objects and background so primary objects are the main objects which is a part of that Im image so the, these two fish are the primary objects on that for that overall picture is made 
so those two nemo and these two fish second fish these are the primary object and this, what are the secondary objects so secondary object can be the for to make that scene like this is a fish then there is secondary object then the stones then the jewel box then the plant then the air bubbles are the secondary object which are the very close to the primary object then what are the tertiary objects the tertiary object can you can say like a photo frame or that window which are little bit far away from that main object they, but they are playing a role they are playing a role of creating that environment but they are little bit far away from the main object and finally there is one background and what background we can call like its background made up of all the tertiary object for example if you see that opera house then there is a one uh, sea or river is there and that one ship is there so like that all th things make together the background so like that this in this way you have to observe the objects whenever you saw any new image or any new scene or any movie also if you are watching we have to keep this in mind and you have to observe like this now what is the second parameter you have to consider so second parameter is the texture texture is also one of the very very important parameter in any sketching or drawing so if you can see there is a there is a, how the skin of that big fish how they have fin on fins are there and there you can see the bone also how it is flowing and you can see also the mark that mark is playing very very important role for the character building of that fish that mark is showing that fish is very aged it is very old and that fish has done very struggle if you watch that movie you know that this fish tried to go out of that fish tank many times and that mark is showing that Mark is showing that he struggled, that he tried a lot of methods and a lot of experiment he did, did. So you can understand with that simple mark how we can build that character of that fish. Now next you can see that wooden box and drill box, how that wood is. Then on that rock, that right side down corner, that purple color, how that rock is. That is a that surface of that rock is very very rough very rough as compared to the center one which is having the blue color rock and that are very glossy now you can see the window outside that the window that wood how that wood looks that wood and the jewel box wood how that different how the shade of that both the wood are different because the jewel box that wood is into the fish tank and because of that when you keep wood into the fish tank how that it is become deteriorated whereas the wood on the window it is outside of that fish tank and how it is looking fresh and you can find there is a tiles at the back side of that fish tank and you can find with the help of that lines so like that we have to observe texture also and it will help you to bring in your artwork if you observe close data texture then you can understand what you have to draw and what you have to bring in your art so we will go to next parameter that is called lights lights is very important parameter we have completed different session on lights and shadow so in that we will go in, in very depth on the lights but here we will quickly go through the lights so what is a light so if you observe this image carefully then you, if you observe the bubbles you can find on that bubbles on the top of that bubble there is a white light so from there you can understand the light is coming from the top even if you observe the leaves at the top you can find the white light and in the in middle there is a shadow because that leaf is twisted and because of that that shadow of that leaf is appearing on the down, down side of that leaf then why to observe the uh, lights if you observe here carefully if you suppose if you are drawing this leaf then here pink color which you apply it has to be light shaded and here where the shadow is appearing here which shade you apply that you have to apply the dark pink you understand how the lights are playing a role to change the shade regarding this we will go in detail in lights session also but quickly we will go here then there is also one more light is there which is appearing from the outside of the window that is sunlight yes and how you come to know you just observe and the stand of that frame photo frame that how that black shadow is there so from that you can understand that one 
sunlight is coming from the outside of the window so like that you have to observe the lights also now we will go and observe the reflections reflections also play a major role so if you see that there is a fish tank and if you see the back wall there is a shadow of the reflection of the both nemo and big fish is there one more reflection of those fish is that on the right side of that glass you can find the shadow of that fish on the right side of the glass so there are two glasses are there on the back side of the glass you can find the shadow or uh, reflection of that fish and the right side of that uh, glass you can find one more reflection there's a one more re reflection very very important that is at the background the reflection of that ship that is also playing a role so like that you have to observe this small small detail detail information into image and if you observe that then you will come to know you have to draw that into your art and then only your art will look like a realistic like this tiger see how that this tiger is observing how carefully he is observing because he is hungry and he in the search of the food whatever things he is watching like moving he just try to observe that and he try he want to catch that and he want to eat that so if you can see his eyes how carefully he is looking at that because he don't want that animal don't want to touch he just want that animal very carefully that's why see how smoothly very slowly slowly he's entering into that river and how that water is get deflected and he don't want to make any noise even his sound so that his enemy or his attack object will be careful so that's why he taking very small small step and very smoothly that's why you can find the water is very settled even the where water is disturbed there is also water is very settled if we if tiger run in the water then water is very much disturbed but in this image water is little bit very much settled right so like that you have to do the observation in every image every project which you are doing the same thing you have to do the like what i said you this all example of the action you have to observe action in any image in this image the tiger is trying to catch the of animal right the same way in this image the on the screen we are seeing this action happening that both the fish are talking with each other that's why they are looking at each other so when you are drawing this image you have to draw the eyes in that direction so that it looks like they both are talking with each other right so that is the important of the observation and you have to do a very detailed observation and really the beauty of the observation is that you don't need any tool only eyes is the main tool for on the observation try to follow this technique in your day to day activity if you are watching any serial if you are watching any youtube video if you are watching any object if you are watching any animal try to observe in this different different perspective try to observe their texture try to observe their lights try to observe what are the different lights are there so i hope you like this session and you will took all very many many notes and you will apply those techniques into your day to day activity and now we will meet in the next video but till i want commitment from you that you will do we minimum two observation you take two different different images and do the observation so i hope you will do that activity because you want to improve your skills and in that process this is the main very major step and i know that you will follow that and i can guarantee you that you can find a difference in your skills so see you in the next video we will meet in the next video till that time happy sketching bye bye